guys and welcome back. Today we're going to do this peachy nude cut crease look and I think it turned out really good. It was actually the first time I tried this out so I hope you like it and let's jump right into the video. Okay so first of all I'm gonna take my hair up just to get it out of the way. So I've got a few blemishes the last day so we have a little redness to cover today. First of all, I'm going to prime my face and I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I feel like this is the one that has been working best for me um, with the NARS uh, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and that is why I am using the Smashbox Primer. I'm mostly focusing this on my T-zone area, but also the rest of my face. Okay. So to cover up the blemishes, I will use a color corrector and this is a green one. So green color covers up redness. And this one is from Max Factor. So I'm just going in directly where I have the red spots. And that is later on supposed to blend with the foundation. Okay, just like that. And as I mentioned, for foundation, I'm going to be using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And I'm applying that with my finger. And also going over the green spots. And then I'm just going to go in with my foundation brush. This is the one from Sephora I've been talking about in my other videos. And this one is the Kabuki one with the rounded top. So wherever I put the color corrector, I'm just going to lightly dab that into place. To not move around the, the color corrector too much so I feel like it did not cover up all the green color so I'm just gonna go in with my damn beauty blender so especially now winter time um, my lips tend to get a little bit dry so I'm just gonna moisture them with some regular lip balm to kind of prep them for the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick because this one is a little bit drying no, just with a regular non-tinted lip balm for concealer I'm gonna be using the fit me concealer from Maybelline and then I'm also going over my lid with that so now I'm taking the Laura Mercier powder and the this is the translucent one and I am going to bake my under eye area. And then I'm just taking a bigger fluffier brush and taking some more of the powder. And now I have powder all over my floor. Anyways, I'm taking some more of that powder and just going over my whole face with it. And now I'm going to do my brows. And for that, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Pro Pomade and Taupe. That is it for brows. Moving on, we can do, we can actually start with shadow. So, for shadow, for eyeshadows, I'm going to use the NYX Ultimate Palette. Uh, and I know I've been using this one a lot lately, but you know, you can do a whole bunch of different looks with just one palette. And that is kind of what I'm trying to show you guys. 
so you don't have you don't have to have like a load of different makeup to create um, cool looks so we're gonna work with this some more just bear with me uh, as usually I'm starting off to set the foundation base I put on my eyelid earlier to create a good canvas for the shadows later. Then I'm just taking my blending brush and we'll be going in with um, this shape right there. And we're going to put that into our crease as a transition shade. And then I'm gonna go in with the orangey shade right there. And work that also into our crease. And then again, I'm gonna go in with the, this shade right there and just go over that to soften up the edges. Then I'm gonna go in with the brown shade right there. to kind of tone that orangey shade down a bit. And now I'm gonna go in with this brown shade with the pencil brush. I'm sorry it's dirty, but it's the same range of shades, so it is okay. And this one, I just slightly, slightly focusing like in my actual crease. I see I get I got a little fallout right there, but because of the setting powder, it will be easier to just swipe that away later. So, I think I'm ready for going in and cutting the crease now. And for that, I am going to be using this Pro Longwear Paint Pot from MAC in the color Soft Orc. And I'm going to be using a, just a flat brush for this. Just take a little product and start to go into your lid. And be sure you have a really flat brush for this because the flatter the brush is, the easier it is to do this. Now we're going to go in with um, eyeliner and for that I'm going to be using a, the Gigi Hadid collab with Maybelline. So this is the liquid liner from them. It is also a felt tip. I really like this. It looks really, really black. I really really like this one so this is my new favorite liquid liner so for my lower lash line I'm gonna take this pinky shade right there 
So now I'm gonna go in with this big fluffy brush again and just wipe away all that powder. And also by doing that, if you can see, we got rid of the fallout we had earlier. Now I'm just gonna add mascara and a few lashes, um, individuals, and I will be right back. So now that I've added a few individuals, I am going to go in with this color right here to brighten up my eye and highlight this part. And to open up my eye even more, I'm gonna go in with a nude eyeliner. This one is from Essence. And put that into my waterline. This makes my eyes look a little bigger and just wider and more open. So now it's time for bronzer and I'm gonna use this sleek um, tropical bronze and just add some definition to my face. And I'm going to use that on a angled brush first of all to slightly contour. And for blush, I'm gonna use the Master Bronze Palette from Maybelline and use this. For highlight, I'm gonna use the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. And it looks like this. Oh yeah. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it looks really beautiful. And then I just like to go over it with my blending brush. Moving on to lips. For lip liner, I'm gonna use this one from Jordana and this is in the color Tawny. And on top of that, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the liquid lipstick in the color Stripped. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I feel like it's a really beautiful look. It was quite easy to do also, so it's not it's not hard to do a cut crease. It just takes a little practice. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys will have an amazing weekend and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!